Hello and welcome to Model Minutes. This episode is all about the Curtis Tomahawk 2B in 172nd scale from Airfix. Inside the box you get a set of instructions, two main component sprues and one clear sprue. As this is a starter set you also get a couple of paints, some poly cement and a paintbrush. I started off by painting all the interior components and the small parts first. That's what you can see me doing here. I used the acrylics primarily that came with the set. They're quite quick drying but you do need to get a couple of coats on the model in order to provide full coverage. The next part is to assemble the fuselage. The two parts go together very well. There's hardly any flash or sanding required on this model. It is one of the newer builds. The internal components can then be assembled. Here I am applying the decal for all of the instruments inside the cockpit. This is quite fiddly so a pair of tweezers might be useful here. After this you can glue the wings together and insert the cockpit inside that part. The fuselage then slides over the top and there was no filling required in any of the seams. The fit was very good. The tailplane can be added and I did not cut the elevators off on this model as I'd already decided that I was going to build it wheels up in flight position. As a result I had to install the pilot. The pilot was quite easy to paint. I did find I had to add other colours not included in the kit. The engine and propeller parts can then be inserted into the model. If you do this correctly it allows for a free turning propeller. Here are the wheels going on in an up position as if the aircraft is in flight. The next came the overall colour scheme. I decided to paint the base of the aircraft first as this was all one colour, a light grey sort of colour. I then moved on to painting the upper areas of the aircraft. I used a wide flat brush to do this so I could cover more area. I decided to paint the lightest colour on first and then afterwards paint on the darker colour to give the difference in camouflage. The Curtis Tomahawk Mark IIb, more commonly known as the P-40, was the UK version of that aircraft. Bought in large numbers by the Royal Air Force as a stopgap so that they could use the aircraft in other theatres while Spitfires and Hurricanes were used at home in the Second World War. This P-40 is in a desert camouflage. Here I am applying the decals. They were soaked in warm water and then using a brush moved into the correct position on the model. Model set and sol solvent solution were then applied to these decals in order to make them look like they'd been painted on. Prior to applying the decals, in the areas where they were to be applied, I used a satin varnish in order to ensure that they had a better surface to stick to. When they were dry I then brushed a matte varnish over the top of the model to give the correct finish. After this I dry brushed on some silver to make it look like the paint had been chipped off in certain places and make it look as if it had been constructed out of aluminium. The next step was to apply a dark wash. I used some pastel dust in water with a dropper washing up liquid and applied this over the model. When this was starting to dry I then used a cotton bud to wipe off the excess.
The penultimate step was to apply the dust and dirt grime accumulated over a number of sorties. Well, the way I did this was to scrape off some pastel dust using a knife and then apply that over the areas that I felt it needed it. These are primarily from the engine and the gun ports. The final step was to glue on the clear plastic parts. I used some PVA glue so that it would dry clear and not fog up the plastic. And here's the finished model. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Retailing for about £10 in the UK. It's very easy to construct and the base colours included in the set allow you to create a quite a realistic representation of the aircraft. It was relatively easy to build and I thoroughly recommend it if you're into this sort of model. Thanks for watching this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already done so and why not check out some of my other videos. See you all again next time.